This is thinner than your finger, lets your inner artist shimmer, and won't put your old timer back through the ringer. Today we are reviewing the ASUS ZenBook S16 with a color accurate screen that you can also draw on and it only weighs 1.5 kilograms. Wow, so thin, will snap or not? This laptop is priced at a hashtag cheap buy, slimmer than your wallet, 7,999 ringgit. It comes with the all new AMD Strix Point Ryzen AI 9HX317 processor with 12 cores and 24 threads, part of the latest Ryzen AI 300 series processors. In terms of memory, we get 32GB of DDR5 RAM that is soldered and a 1TB PCIe Gen 4 M.2 SSD which you can swap out for a larger drive if you want to. The Ryzen AI 300 series processor in this laptop has an NPU with 50 tops of processing power with up to 81 tops if you add everything up. So it's ready for Windows 12 if you want to feel a little bit more future-proof but I know you do my last to update one. So you might not know what to do with all this AI power but basically you can enjoy better battery life and AI video conferencing features such as background noise reduction as well as some other AI applications like Amuse for generative images. Of course, content creators like me will be implementing AI into our workflow for photo and video editing which I will talk about a little bit later. This laptop comes in Zumaya grey or prone to sunburn Scandinavian white like we have here. Shut up Anna, not everybody got so much melanin. Are you yellow? They call this seraluminum, but judging from the material peeping through in these geometrical accents, I speculate that the chassis is probably made of an aluminum alloy based material with a proprietary ceramic coating, kind of like enamel wear. This gives the finish a smooth and fingerprint proof texture that's also quite a lot more durable and scratch resistant. I do also want to point out that ASUS is very extra because the grille above the keyboard here is actually two lobangs in one. Like I mentioned, this laptop is pretty thin with hinges tighter than your mother's purse strings that does minimize screen wobbling even when you open it all the way. Look ma, one finger. Your other son can. In terms of screen, we've got a 16-inch 3K OLED panel in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio that has a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage that's honestly incredibly impressive especially on a touch screen. It's definitely great for creative work like color grading, photo editing and such. Netflix and chilling with this laptop in HDR also feels super luxe with a brightness of 500 nits. They've also included a stylus for you to take notes during meetings or doodle when it's boring. It has replaceable nips and charges via USB-C, unlike some other brand that forced me to go and hunt for a super rare 4A battery. If you know, you know. For those of you who like to chew it along and casually game, you already know this OLED is nice. But because it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card, you might want to manage your expectations. Moving on! At first glance, when you take off the bottom, you'll see four downward firing speakers. There are actually six because Asus wear extra again. Go stack two woofers on each side. Then like your annoying overachieving cousin, they did something clever by shifting the ports to the sides so the speakers don't sound as muffled. This results in a pretty bright sound signature with good travel response and decent mids so that dialogues sound pretty clear in videos. However, it doesn't get very loud and is lacking in bass because your cousin type C. The 1080p webcam is light, but it does come with IR functions for Windows Hello so that you can log in with your face, unless you face problem. This is how the webcam looks and sounds like. Every morning there's a halo hanging on the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. I know it's not mine, but I'll see if I can use it for a weekend or a one night stand. Can't we work it out? The keyboard has pretty large keys backlit in white with quiet key switches that although don't have a lot of travel, still feel pretty comfy to type with due to the rigid keyboard back. I don't know why they didn't include a numpad and made the arrow keys so small considering how much extra space we have here since the speakers are at the bottom, but we do get a new Windows Copilot key right here so 
yay. The touchpad is huge, smooth and tracks well with muffled mechanical clicks that feel nice. It also allows for gestures to control volume, brightness and video playback. For connectivity, in my opinion, Asus was quite stingy. Even though this laptop is super thin, it still has the footprint of a 16-inch laptop. So three USB ports is just not gonna cut it. I would rather not have to carry a USB hub, especially if I need to lose one uh, USB port for LAN support. I do appreciate the 3.5mm combo audio jack, super fast SD 4.0 card reader, and full-size HDMI port which will be very handy for work presentations. We also get the latest Wi-Fi. 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 connectivity. So let's take a closer look at how this laptop actually performs. We'll kick things off with productivity benchmarks, starting with Cinebench. Compared to a last-gen Ryzen 9 8945HS in a similarly class laptop, we notice about a 15% performance uplift with this new Ryzen uh, AI 9HX370 in single core and a 20 plus percent in multi-core, which is quite impressive. In sheer CPU performance in a laptop, you won't find a more powerful one from Team Red's competitors as of now. This laptop would be excellent for office use and even photo editing or painting in Photoshop, especially with its crazy good OLED touchscreen. And although you can edit simpler videos on this S16, a laptop with this same exact CPU along with a lower end discrete GPU is still going to outperform it by a considerable margin. The same can be said about 3D work considering how mature GPU acceleration has become for those kind of workloads in past decades. For AI tasks, with a beefed up MPU, this new Ryzen AI processor is going to be pretty fast in AI applications, especially if they utilize the MPU or iGPU. According to UL Solutions, this laptop is a pretty high level 4 system for photo editing with similar performance to a last gen desktop i7, and level 3 for video editing which is kind of middle of the pack. And just a reminder, this is not a gaming laptop, but we can't help ourselves given that gorgeous OLED display. So 3D Mark scores seem pretty high. In fact, they look oddly similar to numbers from an ROG Ally X, which is a testament to that Radeon 890M. But I suspect a little more power in a chonkier laptop would have turned it up even more. You can expect close to 60 FPS in 1080p low settings for AAA titles like Ghost Runner 2 or older ones like Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Even newer titles like Diablo 4 and demanding games like Cyberpunk 2020 is pretty playable at 40 plus FPS. Of course, there's nothing like distressing in between work meetings with a game or two in Valorant. And look, I'm your father, 42 FPS in Black Myth Wukong in 1080p on integrated graphics? Like what? Finally, let's talk about battery life, thermals, and acoustics. We get a pretty large capacity 78 watt hour lithium ion battery that's gonna get you about 10 to 12 hours of use during an average workday. For charging, we also get a 65 watt USB C power adapter that's pretty compact and should take around 2 hours for a full charge. Now, let's talk about thermals. So there are no two ways about it, even if the processor can actually handle it, if you use this laptop for heavier workloads as simulated by our ADA64 stress test or gaming, no matter which power mode you set it to, you're not gonna want it on your lap. For context, anything more than 46 Celsius will feel unpleasantly warm. I'd use it on a desk unless you're just browsing the internet, watching videos or typing out documents. Honestly speaking, looking at power consumption in both standard and performance modes, yes, while that Ryzen 9's max draw is at a reasonable 28 watts, I still think that ASUS should have configured it with a lower TDP considering how thin uh, the S16's base unit is. Still, the laptop stayed impressively quiet throughout all our tests regardless of power modes. Barely a peep. I'm guessing the priority of the thermal design here is acoustics. Pretty sound. Get it? considering the work applications. To recap, here are the pros, mess, and cons of the ASUS ZenBook S16. I give this laptop a hashtag chip by thinner than a supermodel but works harder than a billionaire. Eight and a half out of 10. Honestly, I really like this laptop. It's so thin that if you don't hold it in your hands, you can't really imagine how it feels like. And this aluminum material is really robust so that it doesn't feel that flimsy. And its finish is so fingerprint resistant that even my clammy hands cannot really 
do anything to it. This is actually a life saver, so you don't have to carry around a microfiber cloth like an auntie to wipe your laptop every five seconds to save you embarrassment in front of your boss or client. On top of that, that super color accurate screen is going to be great for creative professionals, especially when powered with such a powerful Ryzen processor. My only nitpick with this laptop is the fact that they didn't give us a numpad even though they seem to have the space for it and the fact that they've only given us three USB ports which in my opinion is not really enough for a work laptop. Other than that, I highly recommend this as a work laptop to whoever can afford to spend 8,000 ringgit on a work laptop. If you need a 16 inch laptop just to see, then you're probably an uncle or auntie who can actually spend the money. See, it rhymes. And that is everything I have to say about this ASUS ZenBook S16. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to reply to you. If you do find this video helpful, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell harder than you hit the gym because you don't have strength to carry such a thin laptop. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Facebook and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane because I can afford to do this. And I will see you in the next one.